Hello everyone, I'm Merlin1977. Welcome to Alpha 0.8 of Planet Explorers. It's finally here guys. Uh, we've been waiting for it for a long time actually. Uh, so this is essentially going to be a new gameplay of Planet Explorers at Alpha 0.8. Um, your save games are no longer compatible and uh, you can't load them anymore so that's at the window but I was gonna play Alpha 0.8 from the beginning anyway um, from uh, from what the changelog said uh, they actually extended out the map and uh, I think uh, we should be able to do a Taro's um, mission the one where we left off on Alpha 0 0.75 0 0.76 uh, for those of you who are new to Planet Explorers, welcome. Um, this is essentially an adventure game where it's a, it's a sandbox uh, adventure game essentially. It's an open world, you can go out and do anything you like. Uh, it's also a voxel game. You can destroy terrain, you can uh, craft uh, any item in the game, you can craft um, some stuff that's on a lot of stuff that's not in the game actually um, and that's you can uh, you can actually download a whole bunch of um, items uh, from isoplanetexplorer.com uh, but we'll get into all of that a little later for now let me kickstart uh, Planet Explorers um, again for those of you who have seen my previous gameplay of Alpha 0 0.75 0 0.76 uh, welcome Let's uh, let's kickstart Alpha 0.8. Uh, there have been a number of changes to it, and uh, some of them are funny. Uh, some of them are interesting. Uh, but let's uh, let's begin. So I'm going to I'm going to create another female character. Uh, but we'll make her look a little different. Um, face, I think, let's see, I think they added some, uh, some new body items, uh, or character items. Um, let's see. I like that. We'll stay with that. Hair. I think they added a whole bunch of hair, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Ooh. Yikes. The Stone Cold Steve Austin look, if you're interested. Little uh, punk rock look. Wilma Flintstone look. If you guys are into the Flintstones. <laughs> Uh, some braided hair. Oh, what is... That looks interesting. The back looks interesting. Are those dreadlocks or braids? Ah, well... Find that out. Um, let's see. I like this, uh, I like this look. This looks more like an anime style look. I might keep that, but we'll just go through some of the other hairstyles just in case you haven't seen this before. This is the hair that I picked for my other character, so we'll change that up. Anime hair style, essentially. Huge ponytail. I'm not sure how I'm going to put her helmet on it, but... Uh... So they did add a couple of new hairstyles, if I remember, from the last uh, version. Alright, so I'm going to go with that, um, where is it, with that anime style hair uh, style. Uh, I do like the white hair, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to mess around with it too much. Um, let's call her, uh, Candice? That works for me. Body, oh, I guess they haven't added any new body types. And nothing else for that. So, 
we'll just stick with this character. Candace. And, uh... I'm wondering if, uh, if, if they added some stuff that uh, users can add to, to the characters. Some modded body parts? I don't know. Would be interesting, though. So let's begin the story. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a long time coming. As the first humans to ever venture out this far into the frontier, I cannot emphasize how proud I am to have made this journey with you, all of you. I look forward to us building a new home together. Let us make Barian into a shining beacon of the human civilization. Many rivers we had to cross, but we finally found our way. Separation complete. We are going for atmospheric entry burn in three, two, Mark! Object approaching. Emergency oh, evasion. Extensive point side damage. Get out of here! All quarters! Evacuate the ship! All quarters! Going down! So the intro was essentially left the same. I'm not sure if they'll ever change that. Maybe uh, as it, as they get to the final version, they might put in some 3D stuff. I don't know. You're awake. The way we crashed, I thought we were both goners. Never trust machinery made on Earth. <laughs> hey. So, where are we? I checked the locator. We should be somewhere on the southern hemisphere. Oh, uh, probably the Galileo continent. Here's a map. Hey. So, what happened? Not what we were expecting, huh? Our first day on Maria, I think we hit something really hard coming down. Strange, though, since our radar system should have discovered any space fragment and avoided it. I wonder if my brother is all right. What are you up to this time? So, tell me more about Maria. Maria, by the way, is the planet that we're on. Did you not pay attention at all in colonization prep class on the way over? <laughs> Maria is the second planet orbiting the Epsilon Indy star system. 11.83 light years away from Earth. It has 80% Earth mass, 26% oxygen atmosphere, and 83% surface water. <coughs> it's very similar to Earth. Well, before that planet became a gloomy, polluted mess. Huh? Are you okay, Gertie? Alright, so no more dialogue. Um, I got slammed when we crashed. Uh, there should be an emergency kit on the lifeboat, but I couldn't find it. Can you look around for it? I could use the herbal juice in there right now. It might be covered by dirt, so let me give you a wood shovel script. You took the new planet survival course, right? Uh, sure, yeah, let's go with that. I actually, <laughs> I actually do know what I'm doing because I, I played this so many times. So I'll just, uh, uh, all right. If you're new to the game, I'll I'll go through the semi-small tutorial. So we'll go through that. Uh, let me forward that to your mobile PC. I'll explain how to use some of the tools you have. Yes. Be careful. Bring that up there. Alright, so this is basically the help screen. If you press H, this is what you get. Uh, you can actually go through this if you like. Uh, you can go through the control, the building system. Um, this is actually a new feature in Alpha 0 0.8, which is essentially um, you can, if you're really good at crafting uh, buildings, you can actually copy this entire 3D building as an ISO file. The ISOs, uh, for those who are uh, of you who are new to Planet Explorers, is basically like an in-game object. Um, so if you put ISO files in in uh, your directory, uh, you can actually craft those items. Uh, but essentially, this is a new feature. You can actually save buildings and save them as ISO files and share them. 
So I have a feeling we're going to see a lot of these new buildings or cool looking buildings uh, on isoplanetexplorer.com and uh, this should be really cool actually and scanning this is a scanning feature you can actually scan for gold copper iron and all these items so you have a built-in scanner uh, you get you get the scanner by pressing H and you just go to scan uh, so there's nothing here and this is uh, something new in alpha 0 0.8 which is the rail system uh, I have yet to figure out how that works but again we, we just started playing alpha 0 0.8 so um, I have no idea what that is uh, or how this works but it would actually be really cool so we'll find out uh, we'll find out how that works in, uh, in subsequent gameplays actually it should be fun alright so we'll cut that out um, let me go find her the kit oh that's new so if I get near an object it turns blue. Oh, actually, if I point to the object, it turns blue. See how far? All right. Uh, it has a decent uh, range. All right. So this is new. All right. So let's get uh, let's get all this stuff out of storage. Get my bed out of there. And three scripts. Get those out of there. Uh, I'll take the flashlight. Oh, knife. Uh, I'm going to need that. And resources. They still start you out with a thousand meat, which is uh, perfect because uh, what I'm going to do in this gameplay, guys, is I'm going to build stuff a lot faster. Um, if you saw... Oh, Gertie, hold on. Uh, good work. You found the kit. Uh, there's a herbal juice script in there. Can you replicate it and bring it to me? Yes, I can. Uh, so essentially, as I was saying, I wanted to do things a little faster in this game. I know in my previous game, um, I kind of took a lot of things a little bit slow. But in this gameplay, what, I want, what I'm going to do is... Um, actually, it's a good opportunity to look at the map. So this map was supposed to be extended out. Um which it is but where we where we sort of got stuck or, or where we left off in alpha 0 0.75 0 0.76 um, was a Taros mission which is in this area I believe um, I, I'm thinking I'm thinking this is far enough to where we can do a Taros mission which was basically the last mission that we couldn't do so I think we can continue the storyline. Um, I believe part of the changelog was that they extended out the map, the, the playable area of the map, so that we can do extra missions. So I think we can do a Taro's mission. Um, but what I, what I want to do, and I'm going to do this off camera, is I'm going to go over here, which is the as a crash site where a Taro is. And I'm going to buy the blaster from him, which is that laser weapon, um, because it's gonna, you know, it's gonna be a little bit easier. The game is gonna be a little easier. Um, it's up to you guys how you want to play your game, but uh, considering the fact that I already played this like a million times, uh, I deserve to kind of do things a little bit easier now. So I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm still gonna. You know, for the, like I said, if you guys are new to the game, I'm still going to craft uh, bows and arrows and guns and things like that. So you, you get to see what it looks like and how it works. Um, and I'm also going to probably kill a couple of big animals with bows and arrows, as I, I've done in my previous gameplays. Uh, just so you can see how long it takes and how painful it is in the beginning. Uh, but for now... For now, uh, let me grab these because I'm going to need them for the herbal juice. Um, so I'm also going to build out uh, vehicles and aircrafts and everything else much, much faster in this game. I'm going to build out my colony much, much faster. Um, all I really need is the money, uh, which, which is the meat. If you, sorry, if you guys are new to the game. Uh, the currency in this game is meat. So anytime you kill an animal, you get a certain amount of meat. 
and um, that's the currency in the game. You buy you buy stuff with meat, and uh, you sell stuff for meat. But um, I all, all I really need to do is uh, just accumulate a whole bunch of uh, currency or meat in this game, and just buy out the colony parts and just uh, start my colony really quickly. Um, for now, what was it that she? Oh, she needed the herbal juice. Um, the other thing that they changed was this, which is the replicator. If you remember in Alpha 0 0.7, well, Alpha 0 0.7, the entire, you know, uh, or up until 0 0.7. Um, the replicator was just basically a list, and you just uh, scroll down, and uh, you click on what you needed to craft, and that is, that's what you crafted. But problem was if if that item required you know three or four different other items to craft before you you can actually craft the main item you actually have to scroll through the entire list to to find it this is a little different they made it like a tree um, they also have these separated by oh duh I'm an idiot I need to learn the scripts first ah, okay so basically right right clicking anything with these little three white uh, squares that's a script so you just right click on it and you just learn it so that just uh, got me three scripts let me where is all of this stuff I should be able to ah there we go alright but if I click on ah there we go alright uh, so ah oh, there's three herbal juices now all right, so this takes the regular uh, tulip, lotus, and shade weed. Let's see what this does. Oh, that's interesting. So you can build herbal juices based on what area you're in. So in the forest, you're actually going to get a whole bunch of these. These uh, hydrocolite verticiliata and uh, catch by catch fly grass easy for me to say um, so you can actually build this herbal juice out of different items that's that's actually interesting jade potato I don't think you get I think you get this from uh, from the main storyline hawk shine fruit I have no idea what that is I don't even remember that in previous alphas Danner fern was in the game all right wooden axe I don't really need so yeah as you can see um, these actually they set up like a tree system where if you uh, whatever item you need to craft it shows you what you need or what you have um, and if if uh, if this needed crafting then this spans out into tree into a tree also so you can actually see what you need you can actually click on it and see what you have things like that so uh, they they modify this replicator pretty nicely um, but I need to craft out I need to craft out one herbal juice, which I have enough now. Alright, we can just build it out and give her the herbal juice. And that goes yellow, so I completed that mission. Thank you, this will help. Uh, I could use some water to help, uh, <clears throat> to help this down as well. Can you get me some? Here's a pitcher. All right, so let's go grab some water. Um, another thing that they added in this game, which which is hilarious, um, was animal feces. Yep, that's right. I said animal feces. Uh, I I don't know if it's an actual animation where the the animals of the land actually sit in one place and <laughs> do what they need to do. Or if I'm just going to end up walking on the uh, grass and just stepping in it. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea how they implemented it. But uh, I sure as hell want to see it. So, um, oh, there's one. That's, uh, again, if you're new to the game, that's a stag. It looks like a little mini stegosaurus. And I'm hoping he actually takes a dump. Because that would be hilarious and it would be super awesome. Um... So this is what they all, what these animals look like. They all pretty much have six limbs.
And supposedly they also added new animal sounds as well. All right. Well, he's not taking a dump, and I'm not gonna sit. I'm not gonna sit around waiting for him to take a dump. Um, if you remember this little guy in, uh, in my previous gameplay, it took me forever to find it. Um, wow, they actually improved the, uh, the graphics of these. It made it more 3D. Um, yeah, they they look they improved the look of this. Anyway, this is a psychus, so this is uh, one of the items that's necessary for for the uh, revival shot, which I you know, I'm gonna build out a whole bunch of, of them anyway. Oh, I forgot how slow cutting down these these things are with my crappy knife. That default knife that you start the game out is is just hideous. I'm gonna need to find uh, Hitomi and get all my gold, uh, gold axes and gold uh, pickaxes and, and other tools. You also do get a lot more items if you cut it down. If you cut these items down with with uh, better weapons and better or better tools, essentially. Uh, but let me let me gather some water. Uh... Oh, they changed that animation too. She used to she used to just like dump down or get down on her knees to gather the water. That looks a little different. Yeah, so it doesn't matter whether I'm on the shore or not. Yep, it doesn't really matter. Alright, this looks kind of interesting. Alright, well, you're going to need a ton of water, by the way. Um, once you set up a colony, because you're going to... We're going to set up a, um, a farm. Large farm. All right, that's enough water. I'll I'll do the rest of that stuff off camera. I don't need water now. So I'm gonna do all of this stuff. Like I said, I'm gonna do it off camera. Um, killing these guys with a knife is a real pain because they they run away as soon as you hit them. And what I like to do, or what I used to do in the beginning of the game when I started, was I hit them towards water so that when they run towards the water. Um, come on, grab that Lotus. Well, when they ran towards water, they couldn't really go any further. So let's see if I can kill this guy. He also, uh, from what I heard, added new animations. So let's see. See, that's a real pain because you have to chase him down now. So, if you're planning on killing these guys with a knife, uh, you're going to be here a while. I just want to see if they added any animations. Man, he's running along the... There we go. Now that's what I wanted. Because now he's not going anywhere. And there's still the same amount of meat. They didn't improve that. Alright, let's go back to Gertie. Give her some water and um, continue the storyline. So yeah, like I said, I have uh, what do I have? I have a, th a thousand, oh, well, thousand twenty-two meat now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna essentially go and buy the blaster from Ataro, and on the way, I'm um. I'm also going to mark on the map some of the some of the ore areas that uh, were in Alpha 0.7. Well, the entire Alpha 0.7 uh, line. Um, the one thing that they always did, uh, the developers, is in every major update, um, they changed the ore location. So if you knew a uh, location for an ore. Yeah, it wasn't there in the, in the next major update. So I'm wondering if they did that with Alpha 0 0.8. I'm, I'm sure they did. Which, uh, which should be real fun to find all that stuff again.
Can I help you? Yes, Gertie. Here you go. Here's some water. Uh, actually, do you have anything else for me to do? Animal fat, and I'll show you how to make a torch. Uh, those hair creatures around here look like they could use some lose some weight. Uh, actually, I already got animal fat. If you look on the upper right hand corner, I already got animal fat from killing one of the stags. So I don't need to kill one of the hairs. So Can here I you go. You? Here you go, Gertie. Mm, show me how to make a torch. Uh, did she give me a uh, script? Yes, yeah, she did. Alright, anything else? Huh? They have uh, had anything good to eat for a while. I'm going to fix that. But I do need some materials to make a campfire. I think you get them for me? Sure, what do you need? Five units of animal fat and ten units of wood. Well, I already have seven. And, uh... Yeah, let's cut this tree down. Once you leave this, I mean, this area, you can pretty much uh, race to the ground, to be honest with you, because um, you're not really going to come back here. Once you once you get Gertie out of here, you're you're not really coming back, so you can chop down as many trees as you want. Um, I'm also going to build out the colony. Uh, I'm not going to build it on the on the mushroom rocks like I did in my previous gameplay I'm gonna build it uh, somewhere on, on a level ground uh, essentially what I want to do is I want to make it enclosed to where I kind of have to build a uh, you know sort of like a castle type of thing um, because where I was I I was very well protected I built it on on top of a, a huge rock where you know, no, nothing, no animals would ever come uh, to, to attack me. Um, another thing that they added in this game was you are going to get your base attacked by, I guess, rogue animals. I don't know. Um, so I have a ton of wood. Let's see, what I need? Animal fat. Let me see. Oh, actually, I need these, too. Uh, shade weed. I needed that psychus and I also need the Maria Sunflower, which I don't think is anywhere around here. Uh, animal fat, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to go kill one of those hares, uh, which are a real pain in the ass to kill. Uh, let me see if I can get some from this, this guy. I have to chase him down once I hit him. Yep, yeah, so it's a... Yay, animal fat. Alright, so I don't, have to, I don't have to kill one of those hares. I... Oh, I think that was a new animation. Uh, that one they had, but I think that... Sorry, little guy, but uh, I need your animal fat for a mission. Uh, where else? I'd much rather kill these guys because they don't fight back. They're not really aggro at all. Uh, rather than kill those hares. Oh, uh... These little, these trees right here, with the green bubble whatever's on top, these are rubber trees. You're going to need to cut down a whole bunch of these when you're building out uh, your aircraft tires and your vehicle tires. So, just remember what it looks like. That's a rubber tree. And, uh... It's been a while since I used this crappy old knife, man. Let me tell you. Been, uh, see, you got, you get pretty much a bunch of rubber. So you're gonna need these to build out tires for your vehicles. Uh, what do I have? I have two animal fats. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need a little more. All right, let me go kill uh, this little guy here. Uh, lotus. I don't think I really need lotus.
I'm mainly going to collect the three items necessary for... Yeah. Stop running. Just let me kill you. Come on. There's a whole bunch of you around. Let me kill you. No one's going to yeah. miss you. Come on. Two animal fat. Nice. I need one more. Uh, this thing... Alright, if you guys... Uh, again, if you're new to the game... Uh, this... That, without the blue or uh, purple thing on top, this is puree, which, uh, and this is the shade weed. So puree essentially is used, where is it, item, uh, oh, that's a script, that is not. So puree is essentially used to increase your stamina, this is your stamina here, um, this is your health bar. If you, if you obviously have zero health, you die. If you have low stamina, you really slow down and you limp. And uh, you really have to eat some of these, either the, the nuts that give you uh, 50 stamina. Biscuits, we give, which give you 330 stamina. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of other items that you're going to craft later on in the game that uh, give you a whole bunch of stamina. <laughs> I need one more, and you're the candidate for it. Alright, that should be it. Alright, so I got the five units of animal fat. Uh, you're going to see me collect a whole bunch of these throughout the game. Uh, the shade weeds, because these actually... Oh, uh, if you haven't seen these guys, if you're new to the game. These are non-aggro. They don't really give you very much meat. They're like little crabs. Uh, if you attack them, they do attack you. So, there are three components that I'm always going to collect, which are the shade weeds, um, Maria sunflowers, which you haven't seen me collect yet, and the cycus. Um, these are the three components used to create the revival shots, which uh, pretty much... If you die, you can just revive yourself. Uh, which is... I actually think I have some. Yeah. So essentially, if you die, uh, you have... You know, right now I have 15, 15 revival shots. So I can revive myself 15 times. Um, once uh, once I get a whole bunch of, of, uh, of these plants, I'm going to be building out a whole bunch of revival shots. I usually... Um, I usually had around 100 or so revival shots just in case. So I'm going to end up, like I said, collecting a whole bunch of this stuff uh, as I'm walking throughout the game. Especially in the beginning of the game. Uh, these are Gibbons. They're also non-aggressive. Um, I don't suggest you attack them because what they do is where there's one, there's usually like 10 more. and. Killing one is easy, killing ten of them where they actually throw rocks at you, uh, that is incredibly difficult and if you try to run away they will run after you. So I don't suggest you attack them, just uh, just a word of warning for you guys if uh, if you're feeling like killing everything in sight, I, uh, I would suggest you leave those guys alone. Alright Gertie, here you go. Here's your uh, campfire stuff. Take this campfire script, that will come in handy. Uh, where's the script? Alright. Anything else? Oh. Anything else for me to do? New recipe with what we have on this planet, but I need some more materials to give it a taste run. You think you can help me? Sure, what do you need? Uh, meat, animal fat, and I need to create a torch, so, wrong one, uh, torch, alright, torch, I need wood and, alright, so I'm gonna need two animal fats, one to give her, one to create the torch, and I have the other stuff, alright, so let's go find two more animal fats, let's go kill some more stags, uh, where else can we go? Let's go find some more stags to kill. Actually, 
I don't think... Oh, I don't have arrows. Never mind. Chen actually gives you the script for arrows, so I can't build out any arrows anyway. Um, yeah, these gibbon, these little gibbons don't really give out much meat. And... Um, they're not really worth killing. Oh, where are those stags? I'm hearing them. Come on, spawn already. Ah, oh, really? Alright, wait, hold on. Uh, let's, um... Let's scan for some of this stuff. Let's see if there's anything around here. Nope. Alright, let's go find the stag. Hopefully, uh, he gives me two animal fats in one shot and I don't have to kill anymore. Let me, uh, let me attack him and see if he hit, heads towards the water. Yep. This is what I used to do back in the, um, they don't go any further. They're kind of stuck here. Yay, two animal fats. Done. Alright, so, let me get one more Psychus before I go. Come on. They really did improve the look of these, by the way. These didn't look, uh, I don't know, they... They don't look so smooth before. Maybe it's just me. Alright, so let's create the... Let's create the uh, torch. So I need that. I have that. Let's create one. Alright, mission accomplished. I don't remember if, uh, if there's anything else for Gertie. I think she creates um, a few... I think she gives me a few other recipes for smoked sausage and things like that. Um, so she might have a few little side missions left. But uh, I'll probably finish this out here. And we can probably continue on afterwards. Can I help you? Here we go. Dried meat will help it stay strong and survive. What did she give me? So she gave me uh, smoked sausage script. Yep. Anything else? What have you been eating? All right. So that's pretty much it for her. Um, once I initiate this, uh, I'll have to go find Be Dr. Careful. Carter. Uh, but before I do that, like I said, I wanted to. Whoa. <laughs> that's funny um, before I do that I, I want to do a whole bunch of stuff off camera and like I said I'm gonna I'm gonna go out here to this crash site where Taro is I'm gonna buy the blaster from him um, I'm gonna also have to ha get enough money to buy a battery as well um, that is your equipment if you press V that's V as in Victor um, obviously I have uh, no armor whatsoever, I have no helmet, I have uh, basically nothing. So if, uh, you know, if any animals sneeze on me, I'll be dead. So, I'm gonna go and uh, do a whole bunch of stuff off camera. I'm also going to put some of the map locations for some of the ores that were in Alpha 0.7. Um, but if, uh, like I said, if, if the developers changed all that in Alpha 08, then uh, this is going to be an interesting game. Because uh, since, it ju since this just came out, uh, nobody knows where any of the ores are. So it, it keeps it interesting. I'll, you know, I'll give them that. Uh, but anyway, so I'm going to sign off here. Uh, we will go and find Dr. Carter afterwards uh, in the next episode. I just wanted to essentially introduce you guys old and new uh watchers to alpha 0.8 of planet explorers 
um, Merlin 1977 thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe I really appreciate all the support guys um, I'm gonna do this entire uh, you know as much as this alpha allows me uh, from what I heard alpha 0 0.9 they're looking to re have this released on uh, sometime in October so we're gonna have a long time with this alpha 0.8 um, you know whether it's alpha 0 0.8 0 0.81 0 0.82 whatever additions they're gonna make to it, uh, it we're not gonna have alpha 0 0.9 up until very you know three four months from now so Anyway, um, I will see you guys in the next episode, uh, bye-bye for now.